How's it going, everybody? It's Pepe from Guadalupe River Angler Secret Society, otherwise known as Grass. Today, we're going to show you guys how to make a flute out of a piece of bamboo that we got while we were hiking. So, we're going to show you what you need to do it. It's going to be one, two, three. By the end of this video, you'll see us playing a bamboo flute that we made right in front of you. We have our masks on because it's COVID-19 and also the California fires, which are pretty crazy. And we'll finish this up in just a minute. Okay, here we have everything we need. We have that long piece of bamboo. We have some sandpaper. We have a propane torch. We have a pair of pliers, a screwdriver, actually two screwdrivers, a Phillips and then a flathead thing, a big long nail, a file, and a lighter. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this piece of bamboo to the length we want it. Small disclaimer, this should have been added to the things that we need to make it. Okay, once you've cut it to the length that you want it, next step would be to give it a quick burn. We're doing this to make sure it's dry. Okay, now we've got that burn done with that piece of bamboo. Um, it gives it some color. It makes it so you kill any varmints on it and it helps dry it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a long piece of metal, we're gonna heat it up really hot, and I like to have it so it's almost as long as the piece of bamboo, so I can poke it through really hot, burn it, and open up an area to make the flute. Now that we've got the screwdriver, okay, so now that we've got the screwdriver hot enough, we're gonna poke it through this part of the bamboo, so we can create a hole. And the reason we're using this and burning it is so we don't split the bamboo. So you wanna make sure that you empty out that hollow part of the bamboo that we just did. That way you don't go having a bunch of dust and stuff in it. Really important step though, you have to make sure that's hollow. And I hollowed this one all the way to that second line right there. It went through this one and it stopped before it hit that. Next thing we're gonna need is a round file. Just gonna give it a quick file right there. Next step, James isn't filming right now, but he's been helping film this whole time, is to get your flathead screwdriver again, and we're gonna heat that up, and we're gonna make the mouthpiece. Okay, where we're gonna put the mouthpiece on this is, that's the part we hollowed out. It's hollowed through there. It's not hollow there. So we're gonna put it right about there. And again, we're gonna use a very hot screwdriver so it doesn't split the bamboo. I'm gonna burn through it so it doesn't crack it. We're heating it up and we're gonna do that again. As you can see, it's almost burned through. There, it just went right through. Next step is a Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna get that little hot now. So, as for markers, where I'm gonna put the flute, I'm just gonna use it by my fingers, where I'm gonna put the markers. We're gonna widen these up by using the heat from this so we don't crack it. And then eventually. We're gonna take the file, we're just gonna file the holes a little bit bigger. We're gonna file this a little bit as well because we wanna get it nice and wide enough. going to do is we don't want this thing to look too bland so we're going to do some designs with it with the flame just to use some sandpaper and sand it down a little bit so the sandpapering it's gonna make this go into the wood, the burn marks, and we'll see, we'll make it look cool at the end. So it's got a real natural look. This one had a lot of stains to begin with, which gave it a certain look. Then you can do other things with it. Like burn it a little? With the torch kind of thing. You can make these a little darker for where your holes are. So this one we're going to put a straight line across. Might as well do two of them.
to bring it together. We're going to make another two lines. You like that? Yeah. Wow. All right, now we're going to see if we need to do any adjustments to the wind part where we blow. So it's like fading into a different color. So as you see, we just made a flute start yeah. to finish out of a piece of bamboo. Um, we're gonna put some clear coat on it. I'll show you what it looks like after the clear coat. It'll make it so it shines and sticks around. It doesn't break. We're gonna use some of this triple thick glaze, high gloss coating, whatever it is. It's a, pretty much it's clear coat. What I like to do when I do any kind of clear coat with these is put it on the end of a screwdriver and just hold it out. As you can see, the clear coat gives it a nice shiny look. It's also gonna help to uh, seal it so it doesn't crack. It's gonna withstand the test of time a little longer. So once the flute is done drying, I'll play it one more time and show you that it works. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was just to show you that you can go fishing, hiking, a walk anywhere and find some bamboo and make an instrument out of it. Keep the arts alive. So today is tomorrow and tomorrow is today. And I'm gonna show you that this thing can fly.